Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to play da Diablo Immortal on your PC on the blue stack version. Really important to mention that uh, you will have a blue stack version and also you will have the proper PC version for your PC. But uh, if you need blue stack for whatever reason, this is pretty much the way you should do it. So you just have to download blue stack. I really recommend to download the blue stack 5. Don't use other like Android emulator like Nox or uh, uh, Game Loop. Uh, they're a bit sketchy the way they uh, operate. So uh, super important to download that. And now you will have your blue stack here. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the Play Store. Make sure that you're using the same account of your mobile. So if you want to sync your game, uh, you just have to connect to your Battle.net uh, account and your uh, save game will be uh, sync. After that, you can write Diablo Immortal like this. You will have an install button here. You just have to install it. And after that, you will have the icon on your blue stack. So you just have to open it like this. So it's pretty easy, as you can see. Um, and after that, it's more about like the setting inside of the game. A lot, a lot of stuff change if I compare it with the beta version that they did in Canada. So we're gonna look at it because it's pretty rough to run it on BlueStack. It's kind of like if you're putting too much pressure on uh, the game, like too much uh, graphic setting. So the first thing I recommend to go with the frame rate at 30. Uh, and then honestly, I test a different different uh, profile for BlueStack and I was not able to go at 60 for now. So that's a bit weird for me. For the resolution, I recommend to go with medium. After that, I recommend to go visual effect at medium also. Shadow super important to go at low. If I compare high to low, you can get a nice like 10 to 12 percent boost in your FPS. So super important to go at low for your shadow. For the fog, I recommend also to go with low. You just have two different options here, but you can get a nice 5% boost in your FPS over here. Post-processing, you should put this one at off. I recommend also to use uh, anti-aliasing at low at off. It's pretty crappy. You will see a lot of aliasing in your game. So that's why I'm recommending to go with low. Environmental detail, I recommend to go with medium. Not a huge deal if I compare low to medium, honestly, in this game. Um, so you will have a decent image quality at medium and you will not lose too much FPS with blue stack. Monster effect, I really recommend to go with lows if you're getting some random drop when you're fighting and stuff like that. Um, monster effect, this is the proper setting that you should use. Uh, because you will see even at medium, you're getting big drop. I'm pretty sure it's going to be optimized a little bit more, uh, maybe with BlueStack, because I have a pretty decent computer and I'm really struggling to run this game and I don't struggle to run any game on BlueStack, so kind of surprised with it. Bloom effect, I recommend to go with off. Vegetation, burning effect off, you can get a nice 3% over there. And the reduce PvP effect, that anyway you don't want to use, I recommend to go with off. In the device load section, you should see something like medium like this. So this is pretty much it for the parameter for uh, Diablo. Uh, now we go, uh, we're gonna see uh, the parameter for BlueStack. So now for the uh, setting of BlueStack. First of all, I want to mention that it's really important to activate your uh, virtualization in your BIOS. So if you have an AMD processor or Intel, go on your BIOS and make sure that your virtualization is activated. It really depends on your mobile, your motherboard. So if you're not sure how to do that, just Google your motherboard and how to activate virtualization. Normally, you will see a, a guide on how to do it. So let's go first of all with setting. The first tab will be performance and you will see some CPU allocation, memory allocation. This one, the, the trick here and the goal is you don't want to max your core uh, with the CPU allocation. So for example, if you have a, a computer with four core, you don't want to run four core on an emulator because you still need power to run Windows and other tasks. So it's super important to know how many RAM that you have and how many C uh, core that you have on your CPU. If you want to do that, Control L, Delete, go to Task Manager, go to Performance, click on your CPU tab here. And you will see here the amount of core that you have. So in my case, I have 12. And for the memory, as you can see, I have 32 gig. So you just need to remember those numbers. So now for the CPU allocation, I can do high 
easily and also i can go custom and go higher than uh, the, than five like i can use six seven eight honestly i never seen like a big difference with those numbers and sometimes i'm getting issue with compatibility so i just go with the uh, default max here for the memory it's pretty much the same thing if you have the space you have like 16 gig of ram you can even custom it and put like 8 gig if you want you can go really like high depending on the amount of memory that you have in my case i'm gonna stay at 4 gig here uh for uh, this demonstration for the performance mode i recommend to go with balance for the frame rate i recommend to go max at 60 and you can even enable the high frame rate here if you want to click it sometimes in some games you can go 90 120 uh, but it can cause issue also with the stability of the game. So just do some testing. If you're struggling with the allocation of your CPU and you're playing at medium or even low, don't go necessarily at 60 here. You can lock it at 30. You will probably have like a better like uh, experience be because you know you will not like get some random drops and stuff like that. So it really depends on how you want to run this. For the display, um, go with native. So if you have a 720p monitor, go with 720p. If you have 1080p, go with 1080p. If you have higher than that, you can definitely go 2K. But to run in 2K, make sure that performance, everything is maxed out because you will lag if you do that. Honestly, I recommend to go just with 1080p. It's perfect. Even if you have like a 2K monitor, uh, it's a good way to play. For the pixel density, I, I recommend to go with 240. Higher than that, sometimes I'm getting weird crash in some games. Uh, honestly, 240 is fine and you will have a decent compatibility. For the graphic tab, um, the graphic engine mode, I, I recommend also to go with compatibility. Don't go with performance, getting too much issue with it. Uh, compatibility runs fine. For the API uh, graphic renderer, I recommend to go with OpenGL. If you're struggling with old AMD card, you can definitely test DirectX because OpenGL is, is not great with AMD drivers. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA card, you will not have any issue. Just go with OpenGL. If you're struggling with your AMD, definitely do some testing. Interface renderer, go with Auto. ASTC texture, super important to use the software decode, coding. Sorry. And the last one, it's the GPU in use. You really want to uh, activate this if you have a dedicated GPU. It will help you with the hardware acceleration. So super important to use that. The last parameter that you want to check, it's your device. So you have a different profile for device. By default, I recommend to use the Asus ROG 2. Uh, it's pretty good and normally you can go, uh, you can have like high FPS in some games. Uh, the sick other profile that I recommend is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So just do some switch between them. If you don't like the uh, Asus and you're feeling that you're missing some setting in some game, definitely test the Samsung one and you will probably have what you're missing. So this is pretty much it for my blue stack guide. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any question about Diablo Immortal on blue stack, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.